Time now for the NFT nominee presented by Candy. Well, Paul Goldschmidt is on fire right now, putting himself squarely in contention for the NL Triple Crown with two home runs and five ribbies on Thursday. Goldie now leads the National League in average and RBI. And this is just two home runs back of Kyle Schwarber for the lead league league in. Say that 10 times fast in long balls as well. Here's a look at the Candy NFT for the Cardinals superstar. But even with this recent hot stretch and even with over a decade of producing at an all-star level, is Paul Goldschmidt somehow underrated? Hannah, I know you're passionate about this subject. I'm passionate about the fact that the answer is no, and I dislike this framing, because what if I think Paul <laughs> Goldschmidt is very good, but I think he's accurately rated because he was the starting first baseman for the all-star team, and also yeah. we're talking about him. We talked about him in the first segment, too. I literally yes, just like reiterated everything If anyone is underrated, it's Christian Walker, who he replaced in Arizona, or replaced him in Arizona. No one's talking about Christian Walker. No one's talking about Arizona. <laughs> we barely talked about him in the first segment, and he's gunning to do something that hasn't been done since 1937 when Joe Medwick was the last person to get the NL Triple Crown. And I think it's interesting that, you know, Paul Goldschmidt with a 200 OPS plus has not only the best OPS plus in the majors right now, but would be much better than many other MVPs on sort of previous seasons. But I feel like he might be a little underrated because I think that as a human being, he's just so humble that I feel like he doesn't even answer direct questions about himself. You know what I mean? If you were like, Paul Goldschmidt, what's your favorite the ice cream flavor? He would be like, well, you know, like the team really likes Rocky Road. <laughs> like, he's just that yes, kind of a dude. Yeah. So I feel like for that reason, he's not as much in the public eye as he should be. Keith, if he played in New York or L.A., would he be more popular just based I, on his performance alone? I don't think so. Because, I mean, he's been killing it for like eight to ten years. He's been around for a decade. And, like, who's doing the rating if Paul Goldschmidt is underrated? He's right? in the conversation for MVP. <laughs> Triple crown, he's on a first place team, he was an all-star, an all-star all -star starter. I don't know why there's even a question about him being underrated. Like Ellen said, maybe it's his personality. He hasn't gotten that many TikToks posted yet, so <laughs> we underrate him. Maybe. No, this guy is one of the best in baseball. He's been, he's been one of the best players in baseball for a while now. He's not underrated. Speaking of TikTok, I, I took it to the internet search engine during our commercial break, and all I did was search St. Louis Cardinals players. He's fifth on that list. Okay, but all they all... Paul DeYoung's ahead of him. It is all time, but Paul DeYoung's but ahead what of him. What is this, Google? I'm just Google telling you. Is that... Google has spoken, all right? <laughs> he's the... Is he... There's no way he's the fifth what? Like, least search? Fifth, yes! Mm. We got... You know what we need to do? What fifth. is it, um... I think like oh, the Q puts out who who's like be getting searched the most. Mm. We got a oh, maybe yeah, baseball let's look reference. I was gonna say like your Q rating. Oh, the problem is people are looking him up because they've heard of him. They're looking up Christian yeah. Walker after we just talked about him. They're like, I've never even yes, heard of that are. guy. <laughs> All right, go to candy.com. MLB TV now to pick up NFTs of Paul Goldschmidt or any of your favorite MLB stars today.